My name is Ann Patterson. I am an artist based in New York City. I'm really excited to have my first show here at Allstad and Contemporary. I'm a visual artist. I paint and I also sculpt and I also do large scale installations. And it's neat that I get to have this show here because I also have a big installation up at the Ringling Museum, which um, is the first piece in the new uh, Monda Gallery. This work is very much connected with that installation. That installation consists of 20, over 24 miles of hanging ribbon. So this um, gallery show has ribbon in it. It has paintings that were the inspiration for the colors and for some of the um, layouts of the ribbons for that piece. I have wire wall pieces here that also um, are connected visually and aesthetically to the uh, the piece at the Ringling. So it's really an incredible feeling to be able to have all this work of mine from about the last two years all gathered together in one space like this. I have a condition called synesthesia, which is kind of funny because it actually is labeled a condition, which makes it sound like it's some awful disease. But um, what it is, it's really where um, your senses cross. So I have it that when I listen to music, specifically classical music, I see colors and I see shapes. Um, some people have it with days of the week, some people have it with um, numbers. I actually also have it with my numbers. All my numbers have genders and personalities. People have it with taste, like they'll taste something and a, and a, a, a color will be triggered or a smell will be triggered. So it's really this whole thing of crossing senses and I use it um, like all the time with my work. I'm, I'm always listening to classical music when I'm painting. Um, the piece behind me, um, this wire wall piece, is uh, directly created in response to Aaron Copeland's Appalachia Spring. And I, so I listen to the music and I get, um, first of all, I pick the wire because of the colors that I see when I hear that music. And then when I lay out the, the wire and the pattern it makes, it's directly in response to the sounds of the music. So you have like a, a soft part and the music kind of goes woo, and so at that, that point the ribbon kind of makes a big sweeping arc. And then there are parts where it goes da 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 So for that, for me, it sounds like the, the movement would be, or the shape would be like a little curly cue thing. And, you can, and so that's what I put into the piece. So it's, it's incredibly fun to do it. It's a little bit like dancing with this wire. Um, and then I began designing sets for the opera. And while I was doing that, it was so clear for me when I was be listening to the music exactly what colors the set and the costume should be and the, and the shapes and the forms. Um, and so then I really started to embrace it and use it with all my artwork and it really influences and inspires pretty much everything that I do. I want people when they see my piece to walk away with a sense of joy and a bit of a sense of wonder and um, I like my pieces being very, I like them to be quite simple and direct so that I feel that each person can kind of have their own relationship to it but I do want them to look at it almost as like a moving piece, even though it is a stationary piece and this, the wire wall piece and the paintings and the other wire wall pieces are obviously stationary pieces of art, they're not moving. But for me, I feel like because I was listening to music as I created them, they have a lot of movement. And I'm hoping that when people see these pieces, they too will see that movement and it will kind of draw them in and make the whole piece feel more alive to them.